Welcome to the Glass is Full and a Half, a masterclass with um, Manolo Betancourt and Mauricio Aranguren. We are going to focus on how to be an unstoppable achiever because Manolo Betancourt and Mauricio are unstoppable achievers, but Manolo in particular, uh, as the owner of Manolo's Bakery and Artisan uh, Gelato in Charlotte, North Carolina, has a very peculiar story that I thought as his uh, friend and mentor that the world needs to know, understand, and find which factors can be applicable in a universal way to each one of us, because Manolo represents a spirit of not only entrepreneurship and leadership, but also of uh, a heroic nature that uh, takes him out of his comfort zone and brings him into action in a variety of ways, aside from his daily labor. And I think today in the, the situation that we have around the world and the, the social media bubble in which we might be living, it's important to know how we can move from our comfort zone to be a continuous learner, to create always capacity to do more, uh, feel fulfilled, uh, do significant things for others and create a path for others to follow that becomes part of our legacy. So how to be an unstoppable achiever is based on my findings uh, as a leadership strategy consultant with uh, sports uh, professionals and executives. And it's based on four principles. The first one is imagine in which the people I work with over the years, and Manolo in particular, they focus on a big future. They have a dream, they have a vision, and they're gonna pursue it. And they're gonna find the connection with the stepping stones to do it. And for that, they improve, they go into training. And in training, they manage energy rather than time. It doesn't matter how fast they get there, they're gonna get there. And they're going to align their life so they have the energy and the capacity to get to the final goal. As they progress towards this moonshot, this mega goal that they have set for themselves, they inspire. First, they inspire themselves because in looking back, they say, oh, <laughs> I was at square one at a certain level of capacity, and now I'm doing this, and people come to me, and they say, I've been watching you. Can I invest? Can I join you? Can you teach me? Those are signs that we have crossed a certain level of capacity on one moving into the breakthrough zone. And finally, over time, they ignite because they inspire others to do their own actions, to join them, to develop and design uh, bigger visions. And for them is the sense that I am creating a legacy. Uh, this is going to be what I leave behind as my message for others. So with these four principles, I like to explore uh, Manolo's life with the understanding of this metaphor in which breakthrough, the word breakthrough, is intentionally declaring that the glass is full and a half. We all know the typical image in which we say, okay, the glass is half empty or half full. Uh, some people don't quite understand the situation, but uh, unstoppable achievers like Manolo have looked at the glass and they said, yes, it's great if it's full, maybe I'm satisfied because I get one goal after the other, but I imagine more. I actually go beyond. I imagine the impossible. So instead of focusing, is it true or not <laughs> that I'm getting what I want? Yes, it's true that I'm getting what I want, but I can envision what is not there. I can envision what has not yet been designed. So in this sense, we can explore two aspects with Manolo. One, how do we define this 300% moonshot, this 
vision, this desire that is gonna pull us forward towards going beyond our comfort zone? And how do we live today as the unstoppable achiever that I want to be? Because I have to start feeling it today and starting to create the stepping stones one by one that connects me daily with this feeling that I'm already, I'm, <laughs> I already am that person that I am uh, creating. So Manolo, uh, yes. you were born in Colombia and uh, as a child, you have a very particular situation in the mountain. So what were your dreams then? Wow, uh, <laughs> that's very interesting. Uh, uh, first of all, thank you so much, Carlo, for this opportunity. Uh, thank you, Mauricio, for being here. So happy the two beautiful minds, two beautiful people, and two wonderful brains for humanity are here connected with me and two of my biggest mentors. As I have another mentors, and I still have, other mentors, people, but you guys in the last couple of years, you have been with me almost every day, working and fighting and dreaming and believing on me. And in a time that a lot of people don't believe on me. And oh, it has been so hard for people to, to believe on me because not everybody is as crazy as I am, <laughs> but crazy in a good way. Uh, yeah, very interesting. When I was a kid in El Carmen de Oral, my beautiful town in Colombia, there were big fights with my head and myself. One it was, if the world is so big, why I had to be here? And another big fight, I, if I was born in the mountains, why I cannot see the ocean? So I was, those, I was too little when I, I was thinking about those things. Like, mm -hmm. I want to travel. If the world is too big, I want to, I want to be around the world. And so far, I've been around 20 countries. And there is no a country that is far for me. And the other one is, why I cannot be in the Navy? It was, um, uh, when I was a teenager, a lot of people say, you cannot be in the Colombian Navy because you are from a poor family, because uh, you are not from, uh, you are not even, no, you are not even near to the ocean. You, there was too many no's why I cannot be in the Navy, but I was, I'm gonna be in the Navy. I'm gonna be in the Navy. I'm gonna be in the Navy no matter what. I'm gonna travel around the world. Then when I was, uh, I wa I'm gonna be a national champion. Then when I was part of the Colombian team and I fell in love and uh, we, what I already had in my heart, that my passion to, and my love to be part of the United States, <laughs> to be part of this beautiful nation. Okay, I'm gonna live in the United States. Then uh, uh, if nobody has a college degree with my family, I'm gonna be having a college degree. And um, like I have said too many times, uh, I was, I already have all those pictures in my head and I have all those big dreams. I knew I was gonna be fighting for those dreams. The only dream that I didn't have in my head is that I was gonna be called a hero. <laughs> mm -hmm. But But after the process of, everything I have been through and everything I felt and the way that I act and I fight and I dream. So I realized, okay, yeah, that's my part of my, de my destination as a human, being a hero and being able to inspire some more people around the world to be a hero as well. I don't know yeah. if, I, that, if I gave you all the answers. <laughs> no, no, we can keep stitching the answers <laughs> because, uh, <laughs> My curiosity is essentially, first of all, you just described that you went from one 300% moonshot to another. So when you achieve something, you already had another frontier that demanded that uh, you put a tremendous effort behind it as if, uh, you know, it was a blank page, right? So how did you keep yourself motivated? from one stage to the other. 
what is the the engine the the cookie jar of emotion where you go to to find the the passion well be, before i give you the answer i want to give you uh, uh, something that came out when you were making that description maybe for too many people support an effort a humanitarian effort to ukraine was enough you know give a donation they are in peace and they say oh, i'm in peace with myself uh to me it wasn't enough to make the effort it wasn't enough to go to poland now i had to go to ukraine i must go to ukraine i really want to hug these people tell them you are not by yourself you are not alone there's people behind me there's people around america there's people around the globe that are taking thinking about you and want to take care of you guys so that is uh, but but the motivation always goes comes from my heart man and my and my soul uh and believe it on me because honestly there is no another way than i can get support too many times people the world and society had told me no <laughs> No, you cannot do that. You cannot believe in that. You are not going to be able to do that. Don't dream about it because that's an impossible. So by the end, it goes just trust my God and follow my heart. That's all the where the, all the energy come. But, but through the years and through the knowledge, through the experience and to all the experience that I and and putting together and and getting around people like you two or, or, or too many good people have been around me, give me more confidence, make me more confident that I can do it. Like uh, that the result is gonna be good. Like for example, I'm gonna be in Ukraine next week. Why? Because my heart is telling me, why is gonna come? I may be able to inspire another people to do it or to believe it or to remind them I had to help. So that is the legacy that I want to have for this street that is coming on. Yeah, they inspire other people to do it, to, to face their fears and yeah. say, they can say, yes, Manolo was able to do it. I'm gonna, unable to do it as well. Yeah. So, yes. <laughs> hi, 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 everyone. Carlos, Manolo, and the people that are seeing this, uh, this, this webinar, this video, or maybe in on demand, as as the technology allows us to to do this, I, I'm I'm impressed with Manolo just say, and I think that the people that are seeing this now at the moment, they connect with this energy. I mean, I believe there's a, a an energy in Manolo that uh, express every time he tries to do something new and, and always trying to improve the lives of other people and his business and his ideas. And, and I, I am very impressed with that. And that's what I saw that I think, I maybe think that is that why uh, the person that has seen this video connects with Manolo because he has this energy to do so one trip, two trips, and then do this and talk to you. And, and we, we all want to be friends of Manolo's and Manolo's causes and ideas because someone has to do the moonshot. Someone has to lead. And sometimes we follow, sometimes we lead, but it's better to have a person who join, to join. Yes, thank you. You know, that is consistent with what well, we see in professional sports, no? we are attracted to the energy of the champion or the legend, and we want that energy. And that's yes. fun, not being a fan, the fandom, because we try to dig in into ourselves, you know, which part of that do I have? And can, can I have more? You know, how far can I go? I think is the question that comes into the mind. Uh, and I see this in my young athletes, no? in comparison to their idol, in a way. And I think that uh, as Manolo masters one stage to the other, no, he's also creating that uh, processional effect 
no? <laughs> he's doing what he's doing because he wants to do it. <laughs> and obviously uh, in that path is generating waves, no? Is the resonant waves that are uh, so interesting. Uh, and I think that's also intriguing for me uh, as a storyteller, Mauricio, you know, how you are connected with the story, no? To magnify yes. the story, to magnify the story. <laughs> no, so it's a big story, Manolo, is a big story, yeah. but yeah. Uh, 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 just recalling what you just say about the sports and, and how this energy, and we want to follow this guy. This morning, Manolo and, and I was, we were, uh, seeing the final, the, the semifinals of the World Cup, 70 sub sub 17 years of women's in the world, and Colombia was in a in a in a match with our, with Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So in the penalties, we we were both crying because we almost lost, and then we recovered, and oh, that right. was the <laughs> the gold fighter, the, the the little girl make a hero. Uh, and and catch the ball and we are in the final so yes. i saw manolo at the other side crying and i was crying and this energy of of uh, of of achievers i think uh, i love the sports because of this and, and maybe and because it's a woman and i want to relate it here and ask you because you are in in north carolina uh, we here are very emotional about a woman getting to the final because mm -hmm. it's, because it's a world of sports and men and and and, and my, i don't know how to say machismo in english uh, yeah it is understood uh, yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> it is understood yeah yes and i think in the in the world of business and in the life of in the united states of so the people that are seeing this now at the moment uh we 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 love that that somebody connect us with minorities with like women or maybe immigrants like manolo and people that are suffering now that people are dying facing a cruelest war in ukraine so i love this energy of manolo because uh it's contagious Mm -hmm. So you, the people that are, are here now, listen to this, they are more aware of, of others. So that's that. And I want to ask you, uh, Carlos, uh, have you seen that there? How, how this example, how, how these heroes can connect other peoples to, to, to other realities and, and make us better? Yes, thank you. Uh, at some point a few years ago Manolo and I sat down for coffee and he asked me they want me to be a politician what do you think and I said Manolo there is nothing more dangerous than a successful Colombian baker here in North Carolina <laughs> you're going to be far more powerful <laughs> if you are not calculating how much is the cost of uh, 2,000 square meters of asphalt rather than you know making bread for the homeless the immigrants and today ukrainians because i think what connects sports that you mentioned and manolo's story and his energy in relation to imagine you now the moonshot and being what i want to be is the unlikely hero is the ordinary person in extraordinary circumstances and I think we find that in every great story, you know, <laughs> and that's why uh, we both think that Manolo's story has to be magnified because it represents so much of us, you know, being ordinary people. How do I become extraordinary? It's always a question of those who have the means, you know, to imagine beyond uh, what's uh, for dinner tonight, you no? <laughs> those who do not have to think about the basics of life. So we always strive for more in that sense. In America, that's part of the American experience, you know? Uh, and I think uh, we need to be reminded that we don't have things for granted, you know, that we need to strive constantly. And that's why I think Manolo's story is very significant. You know? So, 
Yeah. We can uh, explore the next level in which, okay, I have a dream, I have a vision, but what's going to become of this? And in sports and executives and uh, the people who want to improve themselves, they go into training and you go on a timeline now because certain things have to happen at a certain time and I have to create capacity to be more capable of uh, dealing with pressure, dealing with uh, increasing knowledge and demands, especially if I have employees. But at the same time, I have to embody excellence. My training has to show <laughs> that I'm making progress, no? And uh, that's where I see, uh, you have a very interesting connection between stages, Manolo, because even from the mountains to the sea as a Navy officer, then in a special division, then you train in martial arts, you know, <laughs> then you study university. So can you tell us how did it feel to connect these stepping stones towards your vision in which you were training very heavily? you know, in a very dedicated way at each stage, no? It, well, I guess the, the first thing it has been uh, through a lot of discipline uh, uh, and sacrifice. Those are two things that anyone who, who wants to move up in life and anyone who has to, to have a, a, a success in any way in their lives has to have those two things clear. Is uh, when when people are sleeping <laughs> and and studying, when people are partying and working, and, and, and like for example, the bakery, you know, the everybody parties, everybody gets together in, in Thanksgiving. It's our one of our busiest day of the year, so we are working there. Uh, New Year's, we are working and people are partying, and I just remember, look. Um, a few years ago, when we started working together, Carlos, I was in a uh, I was in on a trip through from from Charlotte to Texas road trip, and I was camping every six hours with my kids, mm -hmm. and every six hours I was doing my homework. <laughs> when my <laughs> yes. kids were sleeping, I was in a tent. I had even pictures, as wow. uh, doing the uh, the part of my homework when we did that work together. So it, it was like that. When I was a teenager, I remember I finished uh, high school uh, one in the afternoon, 1 p.m. And my dad was waiting at the door of my high school. And I have exactly 20 minutes to go from one town to another town. My dad was driving and I was having lunch. Mm -hmm. to grad to get and another boss to go to a capital to train martial arts with the national team drive one hour and up and that time and that boss i was doing my homework go for two three hours training then come back and be in my in my hometown again at 9 p.m and then if i didn't finish my homework i had to finish and then uh, and that was from monday to friday through a lot of discipline and a lot of support from, from my family. Yeah. And, and then weekends, I had to help my family with the business too. Uh, of course, don't take me wrong. You know, it wasn't like I have a punisher <laughs> over me. You no, know, like sometimes Saturday nights I party, but, but it has been through a lot of discipline, discipline, a lot of focus to knowing where I want to do. I. I knew that I want to be part of the Colombian team. I must be a black belt. I must be a, a, a lieutenant. Like, for example, in the Navy, I didn't, I didn't, I was very bad in mathematics. I didn't have a, a good a base in mathematics. So when everybody was, went to sleep, when I was in the Navy Academy, I was sitting in, honestly in the toilet because supposed to, everybody's supposed to be on bed sleeping. Uh, and I couldn't afford to go to bed to sleep because I had to get ready for my do my homework or a final exam. So I had to go and see like an, like an Abura uh, <laughs> stand in a toilet to do my homework. Yeah. So people were noticed. They were know that somebody was there doing their homework. Then then when I come back to America and I go to college, I didn't speak any English. 
again, you know, and I had to work. So when everybody was sleeping, I was learning the language uh, using the dictionary. No, no internet by that time, you know, <laughs> writing yeah. papers just with a dictionary. Uh, so it has been through a lot of sacrifice, mm, sleeping very little hours and, and taking a lot of efforts during the weekends and holidays to, to move up, to move on. Yes. Yes. Sorry. I don't know. Yeah. But yes. Do you understand that 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 discipline makes you free? I mean, it, 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 is that what is happening? Because you are telling us that you are very disciplined, 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 and, and, and maybe you uh, can. All of all about all about my life is about freedom. I, I guess you just touch one of the most powerful words in my life. You know, it's freedom about everything. Freedom about chasing my dreams, freedom about not having somebody to to to, to have a, a boss over me or have a system or have a government. Freedom of, of let my children to follow their lives, to follow their wills, freedom of a country. <laughs> <laughs> freedom of the Colombian war, freedom of Ukraine to be an independent country and Russia is coming now to take, to destroy the freedom. You know, freedom, I guess, is, I guess after, after you know, God and faith, freedom is the most powerful word on my soul. Yes. And uh, how do you monitor your habits today because as a baker you have very demanding hours you're an entrepreneur with several businesses and now you also have a very active social life so how do you basically keep uh, monitoring your energy to comply with all those demands and not lose enthusiasm no? i i uh, it's something that I keep working on and I need to improve more, but it's, it's getting better and better. Uh, and too many good rules. Like one is I have a very good team of people working with me, very professional mm -hmm. people that, that they do their job very well. So that they, they support me a lot. One is uh, having very clear the priorities in my life. For example, the week with my kids, uh, those their time, they own my time. When my children are with me, and, and for them, uh, because I, it's very reduced my time with my kids. So that is a very important time. It's saying it's something that improve me than working on, <laughs> because sometimes I don't give enough time to my wife. And I wish to 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 work more in my exercise time and my mm -hmm. sailing time. I like sailboats. And I want to do that, but 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 very again goes back to the discipline. I wake up almost pretty much every day, four thirty in the morning, from four to four thirty I'm waking up. Mm -hmm. And then it's my time to read, my time to to read the news. Uh and even the night before or the day before I write down, okay, these are my priorities for next day. And I try to take care of all the priorities during the morning. And then after one, two in the afternoon is, okay, those things that there were no priorities. I start working on that, on those. Uh, and, and even now I'm working in my, my schedule for next month and even for January. So it's about organized, being organized, having good people next to you, prioritize and knowing, having very clear that two treasures because energy and time, you yes. know, so those that's part of my my daily remind reminding myself that those are two very important things for me. Yes. How I use my energy and how I use my time. And that's a gift now for my friends. When I invite to a party, I don't take a gift. My wife says, Why are you not taking the biggest gift to this person is that I'm giving them my time. Yeah. So that's it's because I don't have it. It's not like yeah. an arrogant. It's just I don't have enough time. Yes, yeah. Thank you. So welcome. As we achieve, you know, we realize that we inspire ourselves, like you do every day, every morning, 
even forecasting, like you just mentioned, uh, with the certainty that I can do mm. each portion of my vision, that I'm moving, that I'm generating motion. And I also lead by example. I am the change that I want to see. Mm. And uh, like uh, you have uh, built in, in Colombia and tested and uh, experienced in a very deep way uh, with Mauricio, you go and tell your story you know, which is something that uh, uh, we have uh, designed as a platform, no? as an approach to be comfortable mm. to tell your story, uh, because then you resonate. So these are two aspects. No? I do and I inspire because they tell me and because they come to my door and they invite me to do more and to do better. And at the same time, my story alone standing by itself it propagates no it inspires others so in this regard uh, how have you seen your resonance grow including the surprises of awards uh, because i want to remind our viewers that you always help the homeless and the immigrants and then the Russian invasion comes and you uh, step up your contribution because suddenly you go to Poland to bring uh, resources and to build uh, bread ovens. And now you're seeking to have transportation to reach more uh, outlets and help more refugees. So in this progression, no? uh, culminating with the World Bread Hero Award, no? How have you experienced your resonance, uh, this story that keeps evolving? Uh, <laughs> I, I think um, two comments before I get the answer. Uh, everything changed when, when, when Brenda Anderson, then by that time was my mentor, uh, now is my, my, my dear mama and a very good friend and is still calling her for advice. Uh, tell me when I was telling her, I was asking her why people don't pay attention to my bakery, why people don't pay attention to me, why people don't follow me. And they say, well, the day that you decide to talk from your heart, everybody's going to pay attention to you. The day that you decide to be yourself, your life is going to be changing. And, and she was totally right. So that's one thing that changed my life that is, is connected to, to this inspired part of my life. And, and the other one is, I hear it last week when I was watering my, my yard, that uh, this, this person in a podcast was saying the people that really have created a change is the people that always have been their selves. Mm -hmm. What is the people who are wrong in this life is the people that live a life that they are not them. <laughs> yeah, they are not, not themselves. Authentic. Yeah, yeah, the ones who are not authentic. So don't feel bad if people tell call you crazy or or you feel that you are different and you are not part because you really are yourself. That happens a lot to me. Like, why I'm doing this? Why <laughs> what's wrong with me? Why cannot be like any other regular? Christian, you know, so that's, so that, because one day I decide to be myself, one day I decide to follow my heart, one day I decide to be, to be the person that followed that freedom that we were talking is the day when everything changed and I became, uh, be under change. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, uh, the awards, the recognition, the even the documentary, the book, the movie, whatever it comes, it, it, it's just the recognition of that person that decide to be themselves and decide to, to go. Because there's a lot of people that want to be themselves, but they don't want to create an impact in the community. Mm -hmm. But I decide to be myself and I decide to be uh, an ideal entrepreneur. You know, I love business, but at the same time, I like to create change in the community. Uh, uh, and that's just putting a lot of pieces together because uh, I'm a good person because I'm the, 
and the son of a very good father and a very good mother that care about the community. You know, and I did an idea entrepreneur because it is a part of myself that I have been receiving a lot that I need to give back. Mm-hmm. So it's just unlucky that I have all these talents and all those gifts together that I, I through the years with the, to the knowledge, I realized that I can, I can, I can put it together. Uh, mm-hmm. And with you guys, and, and we put in knowledge together and sacrifice is 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 creating this this what is Manolo yes, Manolo yes. the Juan who creates change. I wanted to ask you about being a prophet in your own land and with Mauricio's <laughs> <laughs> uh, input as well. How did it feel to go back to Colombia to your town and create the foundation and honor? these uh, very special people that you picked, they selected uh, uh, because of uh, their unique uh, contributions to the community themselves. How did oh, that Ma- go? Mauricio knows about that. It has been hard and yeah. it has been tough. Uh, like, how uh, is, I don't know how you describe it, uh, that something that we say in English, in Spanish, that no, no one is profit in their own land. Exactly. <laughs> It yeah, has yeah. been it, it has been difficult uh, emotionally, spiritually is very gra- gratefully. Uh, I feel in peace uh, with myself, with my soul, and there's a lot of gratitude with all the people on my team in Colombia who, who are around this. But 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 the the painful the painful part of this story is it, it has been about my own people like. You know, uh, now that I'm getting to be known in Colombia, my own Colombian people criticize me. Uh, why are you doing this for the United States and you don't do this for, for Colombia? Why, what have you done in Colombia? Because we don't know you, we haven't seen it. And, and here in America, I even have gotten emails or in social media comments, like, why are you doing this for Ukraine? Uh, and wow, we have homeless <laughs> in, in Charlotte. So facing facing poor mentalities and ignorance than than don't know me, don't know even know me, and it has it has been hard for me, especially that it has been tough through my life. It has been very difficult to my life to love myself because I I. Through the years, I've been learning how to love myself. I used to punish myself too hard, and I I used to 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 not trust me enough. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of doubts about my own and my own inspiration, and I and those are a lot of fears I have fight myself to overcome. So when somebody tell me what you have done in Colombia. Uh, you haven't done enough. It take those those words hurt me. Even though I know myself that for twenty years I've been doing things for Colombia, but those 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 words, than somebody that don't know me or don't know my story, I, they even make me to think maybe I'm not doing enough. Mm-hmm. So, so it has been tough, but. But at the same time, I understand why, uh, and also, and I also know that that time is gonna give me the answers. That I had a conversation with my son this morning. He asked me, "Dad, there's always two two ways when you make a question yourself. There's always two decisions to make. How you choose which is gonna be the right one." <laughs> <laughs> and I told him, that was my son's question this morning. I told him, man, Big I question. follow my huge. <laughs> and I told him, I follow my heart and through the years, because I'm not going to know the answer at this moment. There's so too many questions that it's going to take years and years and years for me to know the, if the decision was the right decision. So get ready because it's gonna be tough. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I remember when when Manolo launched the the award for for entrepreneurs in Colombia, and 
Manolo told me, why, why they're not paying attention? I'm, I, I'm giving my time, I'm giving a lot of effort, money from friends who want to help. And, and people around want to help, but in a, not in an active way, just, oh, he's doing that. So that's one, one of the dots that Manolo has it. And I, I just remember that, I remember Manolo, go to your heart. You are doing this because you, you, you know this is the right thing. Let, let the people, let, let the time goes by. And yeah. the time goes by. That's, that's the good thing about this. We did it, we did it and it, it was amazing. The reaction was little people, it was not too much people, but it was very impactful. The stories are very good and the connection uh, and Manolo started. So the start of the story. So that's, that's the great achievement. We did it, we started. We didn't know what had happened. Suddenly, yeah. two, one month ago, one month later, one month later, uh, Manolo saw a journalist in the city. So, hey, this guy is, is, is searching in the city. Why don't you talk to him? I talked to the guy, we are, we are looking for another award. We, we, we didn't, we were pitching our work or the life of Manolo. So in the conversations appears, who is Manolo? Oh, this is the guy, this is the press release. So you, should, you, 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 may, you, you maybe you need to, to see this story. It's a very good story. So I think there is one person who liked this story. And the journalist takes us to the, another journalist. And the journalist takes us to the director of the most important paper in Colombia. And suddenly, the surprise goes like this. Oh, the article is going next Friday. So when, yeah. when we opened the paper, it wasn't first page. It was a a long one page so we are amazed because being in the front page of a 100 year newspaper just doing the things from the heart not expecting everything that happened just doing the work uh, expressing manifesting manifesting things to resonate but we don't we don't imagine that we are going to resonate that big with telling our story, yeah. we just manifest. So it happens. So, 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 so the system of the model that you're showing here at, at, the, at the moment, it works. I mean, it works because Manolo graduated from Colombian, from, from a special Colombian in that paper. So I, I, that's what I, I'm telling. And it helps, it helps us a lot to to achieve another things so right. when the when the paper goes when we manifest we resonate but that resonance help us to do ukraine and other articles and other tv shows and the help the help grows so we understand in ourselves and manolo did that 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 the, that the thing these the things work being yeah. the change manifested and resonate to telling the story, it works. Yes, thank you. So that leads us to Ignite, no? which is magnifying because you started with one type of network with one identity in that network and now mm. super connectors come to you. So you're penetrating and they take you to other networks you are always uh, being talked about, as Mauricio said, when you magnify through the media, suddenly <laughs> you're in networks that you don't even know, <laughs> but your name now is a commodity for some of them. And as Mauricio also highlighted, we can design new breakthrough. We can ask ourselves, okay, and now what? What is my desire going to pull me uh, towards rather than duty, <laughs> rather than obligation, because if I'm excited about the next step, that's easier, right? Yeah. So uh, you have gone from the Latino community, social involvement, a bit of uh, politics, because uh, you defended the immigrants when the immigrants were attacked, you know? Mm. I remember just with one posting on Facebook, you turn around the situation at your bakery because you had lost a lot of customers. That was the proof, no? Yeah. That you could ignite. And we're here today, in which in a short while, you're going back to Ukraine. And 
what does Ukraine mean in the context of what you're doing? Is 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 going back to 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 the freedom part? I just I can't. I it goes to against to my soul, to my heart, to everything that I believe that that freedom is taken away from one country to another country. You know, I it, it just that goes against to all my beliefs. That goes against to everything that the legacy that I want to live in life. Then. If something I want for my children and for uh, so no, my biggest legacy is to tell people you are gonna fight for freedom. You are not gonna let your freedom to take away from anything or from anybody. So just knowing that that one country is taking away the freedom of the the of the people by their terrorist actions, that even make it worse. You know when you are when you are using power to to take freedom away, and when you are killing killing to take freedom away, that 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 gives me more empowerment more and gives me more love to keep fighting for that freedom, and that is the the message that I want to leave because I love freedom too much that I cannot allow to, to, I cannot be part of that group of people that do nothing. Remember that message somebody says, you know, the, the best and easiest way for, 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 the, for the enemy to win is that good people to do nothing. Mm -hmm. Yes. So where good people do nothing is, is, is worse than uh, or, uh, or Luther King used to say, you know, just not talking and no, or no open your mouth is, is, is equal and equivalent to be part of the haters, to be part of the bad people. Yes. So, so that is, uh, so, so create, creating the path is, is, is part of, of, of why it goes through the same time than I'm growing as a person, than growing as a business and growing as a leader and growing as a hero. Uh, and, and like I say, it's, it's inspiring other people to, 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 to inspire that other, that little boy or girl in my hometown that, look, he was born in this town like me, and he was as poor as me, and look at how far he had gotten. So it's not impossible for me to do it because Manolo was able to do it. That's one big dream that from 10 years from now, 20 years from now, somebody told me, Manolo, when I was a little in El Carmen, I hear your story and you inspired me to move up, to knowing that I can go farther than being a farmer or being a, 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 a factory employee. Oh, and, 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 and if they are farmers, they're fine too, as long as they're happy and they love because we need farmers. You know, but I don't want just for people to be slaves of a system. Mm -hmm. if you, if you are a free farmer and you love what you do, please, we need you. The humanity needs you. <laughs> and being the biggest farmers ever, you know. But, but the, 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 the new breakthrough is, like, you know, it, it's, it's breaking like all these walls turning down all these walls that a Latino cannot be a good CEO, that a Latino cannot be a good teacher, that a Latino and an immigrant cannot be a senator, a Latino cannot be a, a, a president. I celebrate yesterday that the new prime minister of England is, <laughs> has immigrant blood. <laughs> you know, finally, exactly. society is showing us, you know, that we can change the story. Uh, and there's too many examples through humanity, but is is it technology and artificial intelligence is taking away a lot of feelings too uh and taking a lot of capacity of people to think and to 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 fight and to to look for a better future so uh that's a new fight we need to let people know that hey you are not a slave of this system you <laughs> You, you should be a slave for your own dreams. <laughs> yes. Uh, 
looking back, I realized that uh, you're a good friend. You're a good friend of Thank you, Carlos. the you Latinos, <laughs> the homeless. I'm sure like uh, the Ukrainian bakers in Poland ask you, why are you so nice to me? It's because of friendship. I mean, I'm, I'm not looking beyond <laughs> just giving you your tools to make bread so you can feed uh, the refugees, right? And uh, for me, that's what resonates the most through all the things that you're doing. You have this ability to befriend, uh, to look at the best opportunity for the person that you have in front, down to the point that you told me one time that someone that was very wealthy came to your bakery and you didn't know him, but you noticed that this person is sad. You know, say, why are you sad? You know, you should be smiling, you know? And that's where you <laughs> say, I, I sell happiness, you know, because <laughs> the bread is an excuse to change a, a state and even a condition. So I know that Ukraine is a big impulse and that there is risk. Uh, you answer today to someone, you know, what about the fear, right? But you're also going to come back and do things in North Carolina uh, to befriend towns that have been forgotten, to befriend people who never thought they could be entrepreneurs, change their situation by inspiring them and igniting change in those towns, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. And, and thank you, Carlo, for reminding me that that's another way that, that, that we are living this, this legacy and showing the breakthrough is, um, one of my biggest projects is the, is the, is changing America through the ghost towns. Mm -hmm. And what I mean for that, uh, our our system, our government, our politicians, and our economic system is designed to to walk away, uh, to walk away from from the small towns of America. They, they, if I open a business, I better do it in a big city because I know that I have more chances to make money. And uh, if I'm going to invest my political capital, it has to be in, in a big population so I can get more votes. So, so they are forgetting the system. It's a very cold and cruel system, not leaving the towns away. But I was born in a small town uh, and 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 I drive a lot through America. I drive a lot through North Carolina, and, and it's so hard to me to see how these these small towns one day they have a lot of life. They are beautiful, and now and now nobody wants to believe in them. But people are still there. One thing is when you go to a town and nobody lives there. But one another story is when you go there and you see that. There is a community that is still there, lives is still there, hearts is still there, and they had to drive away to just to buy groceries. They don't have a coffee shop to sit down. They don't have a bakery they can buy fresh bread. So, so, so I wanna. You were talking about friends and friendship, mm -hmm. and many times in these towns they are not even like friendly to to immigrants because what they have received through the news or through the media is immigrants are coming here to steal jobs. Immigrants are coming here to to take advantage of the system. So this immigrant is gonna go to those towns. They are, I'm gonna be opening businesses. I'm gonna create opportunities. I'm gonna create entrepreneurship because I want for them to to follow their dreams, to be able to be partners or to open more businesses or to buy the business later on uh, 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 and, and change uh, American mentalities and change the government. Even I, I have a, the, the a US Congress person challenged me. He said, if you find a solution to this, come to my office because I don't believe that you can do it. So I told them, yeah, I'll be back in a couple of years. I'm going to be knocking your door and telling you how I did it. So you can help me sure. at the U.S. Congress to do it as well. It will be better if we have support from, from private investment and from local government. Well, to the federal government, because by then it's, they're the one who had the power. Right, right. Excellent. So... To be unstoppable, if we're going to make a quick uh, summary, I would say that we can do the right things and we imagine 
we define the vision, the 300% moonshot, and we live every day the way we want to live for the rest of our lives. We create stepping stones towards the vision. We can do things better. So obviously we improve by going into training, training for life, finding new ways of learning, re-engineering, adapting, and uh, we manage energy rather than time because it doesn't matter how fast we get there, it's important that we get there and in one piece <laughs> and with the right people. Uh, and to do that, we monitor our daily habits. And finally, we do better things. If we have the first two, imagine and improve, aligned, we can truly inspire and ignite because it becomes evident. People feel it, people see it. We uh, project that energy, we resonate with the story. The networks grow because people want to hear that story and they want to be part of something better, big, especially if it's based on friendship. And uh, we are creating a path for others to follow that can become a legacy uh, because in a way, Manolo, all these projects uh, that come out of your story uh, down to the very uh, ambitious and very powerful aspect of developing ghost towns, starting with North Carolina, is a way of creating a school of thought. You know, mm. <laughs> yes, there is entrepreneurship and leadership involved. And many people will have jobs, but it's also entering the innovation mindset in a way, you know. How can I improve my life and therefore improve the economy around me? No? Uh, be exactly. more Manolos in a way. <laughs> That's essentially the, but you don't, they don't need to wear your face on a t-shirt. It's just yeah. embody the, the spirit, you know? That would be yeah. the- Yeah, I want another to be George's, so another one could be Michael, so another one could, uh, could be Sandra's. <laughs> yes, yes. Not everybody has to be Manolo's, but everybody yes. needs to just part of it's, the dreams. Uh, truly, what, like Mauricio said, is the, the energy, no? Uh, exactly. So for all of those who want to is, uh, explore their own path, I will contribute this tool. It's very simple, but very powerful because it starts focusing, okay, what is the thing I want the most that goes in the center? And then it goes clockwise, answering different prompts that can be answered with very short sentences or keywords. And within a few minutes, you have at least one layer of what is the desire that might pull me forward and what are the hooks that I have already in reality to start planning this forward and including to uh, including conversations with people that can actually uh, help me. And the most important thing at the end, like Manolo does, is how will the world be better because I got it? <laughs> you know, what is the effect that I might have? The world can be the world just very close to me, but there is also a larger world, you know, that can be impacted. So thank you very much for the opportunity. And uh, I know Manolo that uh, we'll be uh, waiting for you to come back and uh, magnify the story. I know that with Mauricio, you're gonna have other opportunities of uh, deliver the story in English and Spanish, no? Uh, to more and different audiences. Thank you. Thank you, Carlo, for creating this moment. Uh, thank you for, for, for so being part of my life. I'm um, being part of too many lives, being an inspiration to me in too many ways since I told you, since, since I met you the first time I told you, tell me how you, what is the secret to write, to think, and to draw like you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and, and thank you, Mauricio. Man, you know, every day we we are working. Uh, I, I, you know, I have told you too many times. You create a lot of admiration when, when you told me one day I decide to start writing about humanity. I already write about darkness. I now I want to write about lightness, uh, uh, and. 
when you say that to me, Crane might change my life. I said, well, we both need to write together about lightning. Yeah, so, right. yeah. Focus on the good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So that's what life needs and what the world needs, focusing on the good ones. Yes, and and oh, maybe it's time to to a call to action. If you if one of the people who are listening to this could could donate, because we have in our website in manolosbetancourt.com or manolosbakery.com, you can reach it in Manolos in 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 social media to to donate because we we, we will still help him tomorrow, uh, next week, next month. There, there will be things to do with the We Care initiative. Because the We Care initiative now was born with the coffee to help Ukrainians, but we understood that We Care initiative could go to, as Manolo said, to Puerto Rico, to to raise you up, to another causes that will need help. So uh, look for you We Care initiative in Manolo, and then you can uh, donate and be part of the of the gang, or maybe be part of the group that we are trying to achieve good things. Thank yes, you, yes. thank you, Mauricio, uh, for remember. So yes, just to clarify, the reminder and the invitation is: you have created a coffee brand that is part of the We Care initiative. People can buy the coffee, and the proceeds go to the cause, no, to the quest uh, of uh, Ukraine yeah. and other uh, causes, right? Excellent. Yeah, for for too many years, I, I was thinking to do something with, with one of the most emblematic things of Colombia, and that's coffee. Um, yeah. But I want to do it in the perfect way. So the, now that they've been helping everybody around. So the farmer is getting paid, very well paid. The the roster is getting paid well. The, the brand designer, even the one, to, the person that printed the exporter, so everybody, and and then the final proceeds of of the product here in America goes to 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 where the the customer choose to that proceed to go. Yeah. Uh, and and so that everything started with coffee, but then we 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 have been, we we have seen that. And this could be bigger, mm -hmm. and that's how we became with the weaker initiative. Because the weaker initiative now now is coffee, but then tomorrow could be part of the any other brand, or or could be anything that started from a good intention to to be developed and and a good end. So the weaker initiative it could be something globally that anyone can take to as an example to do in their business when their lives fantastic yeah yeah thank you carlos Great. thank you for for this opportunity i'm so happy and uh, thank you for the person who is seen in this video and survive us for an hour uh, yes. uh and thank you for believing in me and for being part of my life absolutely uh, yeah. i love stories and the story continues <laughs> absolutely yeah Great. i see you guys so Bye bye. Yeah. Thank you, you, Mauricio. Thank bye you. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye bye. bye. Thank, you, Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Mauricio. Bye.